This running silence of Uganda's economy must be resurrected with an anchor on the economic stimulus plan promised by government before the lockdown is lifted, without which, it is said, the private sector may not achieve the desired traction in the short term. I've talked about the lady in Tinder who was a saloon and the gentleman in Kiwatu who was a carpentry shop. And the border border who And the border border lady. guy, yeah. Now, are those guys paying income tax? Most likely not yeah. because of the, the informality, the informality yeah. of yes. the enterprise. Yeah. So they want a stimulus and we admit they are the engines of our economy and we agree that government should work with them to preserve jobs, protect jobs and save the enterprise. So this is where government comes in. This is where the UDC comes in. On the part of financiers, the private sector is being urged to pick up on low-cost, higher revenue spheres of business operations that can support their own growth and economic recovery. You can think of breaking down your product into smaller bits and go further for a little bit uh, more people, probably a lower segment, etc. So it needs recalibration all across. This time calls for creativity. Uh, from all of us, that concept uh, of going out of the box. But as you do all of it, your bank, and staying close to your bank. With strong bias towards expanding Uganda's own domestic industrial base post-COVID-19, realignment of government sector budget priorities is being emphasized. Promotion of production, productivity of priority commodities. Promotion, not producing. 101 billion. This is money which, is, which can create great lines for farmers yes. to get resources yes. and add value to their products. Finance Minister Matia Kaseja has yet again promised to table in Parliament key measures for the economic stimulus next week in the backdrop of a $700 million loan being sourced from the World Bank. Mm. So as I've said, looking through the government budget, when I see 200 billion going to start industrial parks, mm. this is not the time to start industrial mm. parks. Mm. It is time to save the already existing industries. Mm. So mm. that money should be cut out, mm. sent out to UDC mm. and UDB mm. and pay areas, really. Yeah. And then we kick start this system. Start That's new true. lines for SMEs. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.